Melvin Douglas was an American actor. Douglas came to prominence in the 1930s as a suave leading man, perhaps best typified by his performance in the romantic comedy Ninichka with Greta Garbo. Douglas later played mature and fatherly characters, as in his Academy Award winning performances in HUD and Being There and his Academy Award nominated performance in I Never Sang for My Father. Douglas was one of 24 performers to win the Triple Crown of Acting. In the last few years of his life, Douglas appeared in films with supernatural stories involving ghosts. Douglas appeared as Senator Joseph Carmichael in The Changeling in 1980 and Ghost Story in 1981 in his final completed film role. Early life Douglas was born in Macon, Georgia, the son of Lena Priscilla and Edward Gregory Hesselberg, a concert pianist and composer. His father was a Jewish emigrant from Riga, Latvia, then part of Russia. His mother, a native of Tennessee, was Protestant and a Mayflower descendant. Douglas, in his autobiography, See You at the Movies, wrote that he was unaware of his Jewish background until later in his youth. I did not learn about the non-Christian part of my heritage until my early teens, as his parents preferred to hide his Jewish heritage. It was his aunts, on his father's side, who told him the truth when he was 14. He writes that he admired them unstintingly, and they in turn treated him like a son. Though his father taught music at a succession of colleges in the U.S. and Canada, Douglas never graduated from high school. He took the surname of his maternal grandmother and became known as Melvin Douglas. Career Douglas developed his acting skills in Shakespearean repertory while in his teens and with stock companies in Sioux City, Iowa, Evansville, Indiana, Madison, Wisconsin and Detroit, Michigan. He served in the United States Army in World War I. He established an outdoor theater in Chicago. He had a long theater, film and television career as a lead player, stretching from his 1930 Broadway role in Tonight or Never until just before his death. Douglas shared top billing with Boris Karloff and Charles Lawton in James Whale's sardonic horror classic The Old Dark House in 1932. He was the hero in the 1932 horror film The Vampire Bat and the sophisticated leading man in 1935's She Married Her Boss. He played opposite Joan Crawford in several films, most notably A Woman's Face, and appeared opposite Greta Garbo in three films, As You Desire Me, Ninichka and Garbo's final film Two-Faced Woman. One of his most sympathetic roles was as the belatedly attentive father in Captain's Courageous. During World War II, Douglas served first as a director of the Arts Council in the Office of Civilian Defense, and he then again served in the United States Army rising to the rank of major. According to his granddaughter Ileana Douglas, it was in Burma when he first met his future being their co-star Peter Sellers, who was in the Royal Air Force during the war. He returned to play more mature roles in The Sea of Grass and Mr. Blanding's Builds His Dreamhouse. In 1959 he made his musical debut playing Captain Boyle in the ill-fated Mark Blitzstein musical Juno, based on Sean O'Casey's Juno and the Paycock. From November 1952 to January 1953, Douglas starred in the Dumont detective show Steve Randall which then moved to CBS. In the summer of 1953, he briefly hosted the Dumont game show Blind Date. In the summer of 1959, Douglas hosted 11 original episodes of a CBS Western anthology television series called Frontier Justice, a production of Dick Powell's four-star television. Douglas aged rapidly during the late 1950s and as he grew older, he took on older man and fatherly roles, in such movies as HUD, for which he won his first Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, The Americanization of Emily, an episode of The Fugitive, I Never Sang for My Father, for which he was nominated for the Academy Award for Best Actor, and The Candidate. He won his second Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor for the comedy drama Being There. However, Douglas confirmed in one of his final interviews that he refused to attend the 52nd Academy Awards because he could not bear competing against child actor Justin Henry for Kramer vs. Kramer. In addition to his Academy Awards, Douglas won a Tony Award for his Broadway lead role in the 1960 The Best Man by Gore Vidal, and an Emmy for his 1967 role in Do Not Go Gentle Into That Good Night. Douglas's final completed screen appearance was in Ghost Story. He did not finish shooting all of his scenes for the film The Hot Touch before his death. The film had to be edited to compensate for Douglas's incomplete role. Douglas has two stars on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, one for movies at 6423 Hollywood Boulevard, and one for television at 6601 Hollywood Boulevard. Personal life Douglas was married briefly to artist Rosalind Hightower, and they had one child, Gregory Hesselberg, in 1926. Hesselberg, an artist, is the father of actress Ileana Douglas. In 1931, Douglas married actress-turned-politician Helen Gehagen. They traveled to Europe that same year, and were horrified by French and German antisemitism. As a result, they became outspoken Gehagen, as a three-term congresswoman, was later Richard Nixon's opponent for the United States Senate seat from California in 1950. Nixon accused Gehagen of being soft on communism because of her opposition to the House Un-American Activities Committee. Nixon went so far as to infamously call her, pink right down to her underwear. It was Gehagen who popularized Nixon's epithet, Tricky Dick. 
The couple hired architect Roland Coale to design a home for them in 1938 on a three-acre lot they owned in Outpost Estates, Los Angeles. The result was a one-story, 6,748-square-feet home. Douglas and Gahagan had two children, Peter Gahagan Douglas and Mary Helen Douglas. The couple remained married until Helen Gahagan Douglas's death in 1980 from cancer. Melvin Douglas died a year later, in 1981, aged 80, from pneumonia and cardiac complications in New York City. <laughs> 